Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today we're going to make this cute board to organize and store your barbecue tools. Now today's video is sponsored by Testers, so we're going to be using their craft paint to create this board. And we're going to cut a stencil, or you can print a stencil and like trace the letters to do the top. Then we're going to do this really cool ombre paint technique. So I first saw something similar on a girl in a glitter. And I'm actually going to link to her video in the description below. She did this paint technique on an entire wall, which was stunning. But I thought, how could I do that on a smaller scale? Because I don't have a wall in my home that I want to do this on. But a sign is a perfect way to do that. So you can get sort of this ombre look. So we're going to go into how to do the paint technique, as well as how to do this stenciling at the top. And then we'll add our knobs, our grill tools. Then you can use this in your outdoor space or give it to dad for Father's Day. So let's get started. So for this project you'll need a large wood board. So this is a pallet sign that I picked up at the craft store. You also need some craft paint. You'll need white and then your other colors. So I'm going to use like two different shades of blue, two different shades of green. These colors completely depend upon you but a good mix is going to be good for the technique we're going to use. Then you'll need some knobs to actually hang your grill tools along with the screws to put those in. And then you'll need some kind of stencil to actually do the lettering. So I have an SVG and a JPEG and I'll link that in the description below. You can download that, you can cut it on your Cricut machine, you can print it and trace it with a pencil and then fill those lines in however you want to get your lettering onto the sign it works just depending on what method you have available. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is paint the entire sign with our white paint. So we're just gonna put a good coat of white paint over the entire sign, including the sides. We'll allow that to dry, and then we'll continue with the rest of the sign, and I'll show you the paint technique that gets that really cool ombre looking finish. So I've painted the sign with two coats of paint and I'm going to set that aside and allow it to dry. Now I do want to paint these knobs in white as well. So I'm going to paint each of the three knobs with the white paint. These may require two coats as well. Then we'll set these aside and allow them to dry and then we'll work on that paint technique. Alright and while these knobs dry we can start our paint technique. So what we need to do first is mask off our letters. So I'm going to do that with this piece I cut on the Cricut machine. And I'm just going to transfer that to my sign. So if you want to do this, just print like the um, letters and then trace them and then paint them on. You can go ahead and do your paint technique. Then come back after that paint technique's dry. Trace your letters and paint them on. So for this, we're using this vinyl as a mask. So it absolutely does not matter what color it is because the letters are going to be the white, which is the undercoat. So we're going to add these to the top. And then we'll just burnish those down really well. And then we'll just start peeling back that tape, making sure the letters stay on the side. Once your letters are all on the sign, you'll want to take something, old credit cards, old gift cards, something like that, and just rub those letters down really well. Make sure there aren't any bubbles and that all the edges are down. And then we're going to use a technique where we fill this with white paint again, and that will seep under all the letters and make sure that the white seeps under and not our colors. And so we're just going to do a really light coat over these letters. All right, and then we'll start our paint technique. So this is dry. And we are gonna start with this light green. This is seafoam. Then we're gonna go to turquoise, then blue fog, and then royal blue. Now, again, these colors are optional. You can add whatever colors you want. And then I can come back and I can paint the sides as well. Right now, I'm just gonna do the top. So we're going to add a light coat of this green over this top portion. To 
So just run over it vertically and then you don't even have to change the paintbrush. We'll go to the next color. And we'll add that just below the green. And we'll just blend the two together. just going to run over it vertically again all the way up and if I find it's too dark up here I could add some light green if I wanted to just to help blend that out once that looks pretty good I can move on to my next color repeat the same technique all the way down. And once this is done, set your sign aside and allow it to dry. While this is wet, you can actually start pulling off these letters. So I like to use something pointy to get in there and then just lift up the vinyl. So I'm going to repeat for all the letters. As I was allowing this portion to dry, I touched up anywhere on the letters that anything bled through or anything didn't look right. Just sort of touch that up with white paint. And now I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll drill the holes and add the knobs for my grilling tools. Alright, so the paint's dried and I've drilled three holes where I not, won't want my knobs to go. I also wanted to note that I went ahead and painted the edges with the same ombre paint technique just so they would match. Now I'm just going to use my screws to come in from the back and attach my knobs. And now with the knobs attached, this one is ready to hang up and add our grilling tools. All right, so I added the knobs, hung my tools on, and this one's ready to hang. You probably need to add something to hang it from the back. So you could use like a sawtooth hanger, you could just use a loop of twine, like whatever you wanted to do to hang it from the back. And I wanted to point out a couple different things. First of all, Testers has a huge, wide variety of colors of craft paint. You can make this match your home's decor. You can, you know, make it match an outdoor theme you have. Just use whatever colors you want. Same paint technique to make that kind of ombre look in whatever colors you want. The second thing I wanted to talk about was the size of the board. So you're going to want to see how many tools you have. And so you're going to use those to determine how wide as well as how long it'll be. So I kind of used a board I had on hand and my tools kind of hang off the bottom. That's okay with me. It might not be for you. So you might want to make a longer board to accommodate the tools. So take into account the, um, the size of the stencil at the top, the area for your knobs, a little room to hang, and then the length of your tools when determining the board size. Now you can take this and make it one long stencil as well. So if you had a longer board with tons of tools, if you have a ton of barbecue tools, then put grillin' and chillin' all in one line across the top, and then you can move your tools up and it wouldn't have to be as long. So just customize it to fit what you need, and then make this cute project for your home. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Be sure to head to thecountrysheetcottage.net to download the file for the stencil itself. You can do the stencil cut on your Cricut. You can just print it and trace it however you want to do it. I did like the fact that I had the white um, coat of paint underneath it. It really helped when I was blending it out and it helped these colors really pop. So I would still recommend the white base coat. Then add your colors on top of that. And then if you want to trace the letters and paint those, 
do that at that time. So I would recommend that order if you want to trace and paint the stencil at the top. Okay, so if you have any questions about how to make this one, be sure to drop those in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer those. Also, if you love this project, love this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up because we love thumbs up. You can also head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have crafty videos every week and you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to pick up your testers craft paint, make something special for your outdoor space. After all, it's going to get warmer sooner or later and you're going to want to be out there firing up that grill. Thank y'all, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.